So last week I walked down from Crooks back into Sheffield and I came past the Buddhist Centre. I thought I'd do a quick video of the Buddhist Centre, Howard Street and Crooks Moor Park Road. So I think this was originally a Catholic church. It's a beautiful setting and at some stage I'm going to pop along to the Buddhist Centre. I thought I'd just give you a quick view of it as I walk down Howard Street. So there's the entrance lodge with various different alter alternative health practices. I think that should be on that sign there. There you've got Sheffield Buddhist Centre. What I just thought I'd show you on this building, I saw something quite interesting. Top of that building. Just there, I think that's an old school, but it looks like it's been converted into flats. There's quite some view of Sheffield down there. As you can see. We'll have a walk back down our street. Crook Smoke Park Road and show you what I can show you down here. But just back up the other way is Walkley High Street. I have done a video on that before. And what I can't understand is Walkley High Street's dead when it, in comparison to uh, Crooks, but it says here St. Joseph, so you can see the building it looks like flats of some kind and probably it was part of all of this up here as well so this will prob probably bring back memories for a lot of people I don't know this area of Sheffield at all I only came across it last week and I thought it was interesting it's really steep down here well they've got signs up for Love Walkley there, high street's been decimated and I don't think the low traffic neighbourhood helped. I think the one in Crooks is slightly different, it doesn't impact on the actual town centre, whereas the one in Walkley does, and you can actually see that video on the channel, so you can see we're on Howard Street with a sign, lovely housing around here though. But it looks like the working class have uh, disappeared from this area like everywhere in Sheffield. But it sort of gives you an idea as we walk down here. I thought it looked quite interesting last week. But lack of people, there's nobody. I just want to show you a shot on the other side as well. So you can see Springvale pub. It looks like this was once a thriving area. And on a Saturday, I'm trying to work out what time it's about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock Saturday. It's absolutely dead, isn't it? I just don't know how these shops survive. So we've got Sydney Road down there. I'm just going to pop around and show you the other side. So one of the things is that this was an old toilet block. Don't people go to the toilets anymore? 
think a lot of people would spend a bit more time out in public if they could actually find a public loo. That's my dread, because I'm going to London on the 27th of July. It's a nightmare finding a toilet in London. So, uh, got an off licence there. But I thought this was a really interesting area. So I'm not sure what bank this would have been here on Barber. Common side it was, sorry. So can anybody tell me what this area is actually known as? Seems to be all coffee shops and food places. I'll just swap back onto the other side and... Uh, but my videos will probably be a bit short this week and I know that Andy likes my longer videos. So I do try and find interesting places. So we've got Barber's Place down there. See that chapter one, whatever that is. I no longer feel as though I'm in Sheffield anymore. Don't feel like Sheffield. I was looking at old videos from 1981 of London and like 1981 in Sheffield was the same as London, just doesn't feel like Sheffield anymore. I think this is particularly a student area now, but... I'm always open for learning things off people, so if you know anything that I don't know, just shout up. As long as you're constructive. Just uh, show you that. You can see the old cobble streets just off here. So we've got local international food place. And that's strange, that actually an electrical place selling goods on the high street. There's washing machines there and cookers there. But I just don't know how people can keep the shops open. Seems to be an awful lot of barber shops. And I watched a video yesterday by somebody from, I think it was a place called Hythe, which I think maybe on the south coast. And the number of barber shops there, worse than where I actually live. So you've got Sainsbury's local there. But you can see all the uh, streets go. Nothing's on the level round here. But people who know this area, what shops used to be around here? Got the Greek grill house there. I thought it was a really quirky area when I was uh, coming down from. I thought it was a really quirky area when I was coming down from Walker last week. So steep round here. So you've got Crooksmore Road up there. I'm just trying to find out where I am now. That's what I wanted, so got a second hand centre there. That's the Greek grill house, kitchens and bathrooms, but everything's on an hill round here as you can see. Yeah. Um, I saw some videos 
somebody. Another barber shop. You can see we're now on Crooks Valley Road. So I missed something really important then, I didn't see it for look, probably looking at the cars, but you can see beanies there, whole food, whole foods place, for the health foods. So I'm not too sure where that building is, but I'm sure somebody can shout up and tell me what it is. I've uh, not noticed any buses. They want people out of the cars, but where's the buses? So we're coming down to Western Park now, I think. I'll just switch back around and give you one last view up there. But there's a lovely area around here. As you can see. Oh, that's that. I'm going to have to have a look what this uh, church is called on my... Uh, on the internet but you can see that lo lovely uh, window up there that's something special that what's your impressions Dave we've got Crooks Valley Park up here which I've done a previous video on Crooks Valley Park so you can pick that one up and the Ponderosa, I think, is on the left-hand side. So we're just walking down to uh, Western Park area. And if I just show you in here, you can quickly see it from here. I'm not going to go in and uh, do it again but you can actually go on my video on this and what I can't understand is they say it's too deep for boats and not safe even though I think up to the 70s possibly 80s they have boats on there well what they could do is they could put a net about four foot under the water all the way along it well, that's another view of it from there so they could put a a net under the surface about four meters down and uh, they could use that as a boating lake again or they could just fill it fill it up but I think these were old reservoirs around here because I'm sure this was a reservoir in the past before we had the big ones and I think I've seen it on a map where there's been another reservoir around here as well or it's it's marked as a reservoir on the map I thought I'd just show you that bit of a walk down. Can anybody tell me what you call that area, Sheffield? I was going to stop my video at this point, but I think this is quite interesting just around here as well. So you're coming into the back end of Western Park just here. Done another video on Western Park. You can see that's a map for Crooksmoor. We've got three really lovely parks here. We always seem to have the lovely parks where the, uh, the so-called rich people live, don't we? Don't want to take your parks away, but I feel that we all deserve a bit of decent green space that's well kept like this. You've got Western Park here, I'll just show you that. So Crooksmoor and Western Park would have been established parks for a long time and we've got Ponderosa up here so let's have a quick look at that one so there you've got Ponderosa but it's not a great display that it looks a bit misted up to me but I think it's a recent park this 
and I think it's been created from something. So I don't know if there was a lot of housing here or something like that in the past. For the elite living in Sheffield, make sure they're okay with their facilities. So we've got the Arts Tower up here, that's why I thought it'd just be a, a worth a bit longer walk down. I'm going to have to clip the end of the other video and add this onto it. I've, had, I've got a video of going up the Arts Tower as well, you can actually watch that on my channel. see it's Bartholomew House up there. So that's the University of Sheffield School of Law up there. Big new flat there. You can see where old Sheffield existed because we've got a proper old cobble street here. I'm assuming this is an original. I'm sure this video will keep Andy happy for 20 minutes. A working telephone box, we do have them occasionally. So we've got the geography and planning building. You can see the 1960s type flats with a cladding on the side. And then you've got Western Bank Library here. And I've seen some interesting pictures of when this was all being built and all the houses around here were being knocked down. So I don't know where they put all those people. Quite some library that. It's better than a public library, isn't it? So we're on Bolsover Street now, but I just thought I'd show you that building from a different angle. You can see we're coming down to the uh, I think what we call the University Roundabout. And I'm gonna end the video here and ask you if you can like the video, follow the channel and click on notifications for new videos.